in almost every approach to, uh, to soloing, generally, if one really thinks about it, you're going to find an influence. <laughs> You're kind of uh, emulating somebody that you like, you know, you're kind of emulating B.B. King or, or Albert Collins. And so often for me, I'll, I'll, I'll just be playing something I have heard before, you know, something that I like. <clears throat> but um, uh, depending on what you're playing, if it's a shuffle or a slow blues, they're very different things. And the approach is, you know, probably going to be a little bit different just because of the energetic I like playing slow music. I, I like having all that space and all that time to develop whatever it is I'm going to play. And um, so for me, I might play something like that to begin a slow blues. In and what I just played is the pentatonic scale. And then put a little something on the end of it, you know, a little fluff on the end, a little flurry or something. And then if it's going to the four chord, I would play something very akin to that. So I've just done, um, uh, what do you call it, sort of like variation on a theme or even more, it's like there's, there's a, a couple of things that are talked about in classical music and compositions. Diminution is like when you, you lessen the space between notes and I don't know what the other one is. <laughs> the opposite of diminution, expansion or something like that. So you expand the, the, the space between the notes. So you're, you're playing in sort of a thematic way. You know, you're not just playing licks. You're composing. You think like a composer. So that's one thing I would do. So again, I'm playing the pentatonic scale. Because we just went to the A chord. So, very nice way to um, have evolution. Immediately there's an evolution in what you're playing. You're not just playing blues licks. And um, the pentatonic scale uh, so I just added the fifth degree. Um, if you approach the pentatonic scale as a musical device, and um, this is something that uh, I think it kind of falls under the category of thinking like a musician. You're not thinking like a guitar player. You're not thinking like any a blues guitar player even. You're thinking like a musician. So you, you, you should be viewing the pentatonic scale as a musical device. And not, on, not, not only is it a device, it's beautiful unto itself. And I think people are afraid to just play the pentatonic scale or afraid to play the major scale or the minor scale thinking they're supposed to be doing something else with it. <laughs> Another thing is like double stops. Okay, so I just played. All I did was play uh, three inversions of the same, uh, of an E chord. Pentatonic scale. Literally, the pentatonic scale, you know? That's like kind of John Lee Hooker. So? I do that a lot. I kind of, I let the time expand a little bit. Za da 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 dum instead of da 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 dum, right? Pentatonic scale. Three, four. Nothing.
nothing but pentatonic notes, but I pronounced the, uh, the A note when it went to the four chord, you know? All pentatonic. This would be like, uh, like an eight bar blues. country blues and, and then a jazz chord, right? That's sort of like the story of my life.